Good Thursday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on weather-wise around the area this morning. We'll have increasing cloudiness as we go through the morning hours. You can see we've got showers and storms off to our south and southwest. And all this rain moving in off the Gulf Coast will actually move up through our area as we go through the day today. We'll see light rain start to move in around midday and then rain will pick up as we head through the afternoon and evening hours. I'd say anywhere after three o'clock through the remainder of the evening, you'll start to see some heavier rain and more widespread rain move in. And we could see a thunderstorm as well uh, as we move through the evening hour. No or evening hours, excuse me, no concern for severe weather at this point. Let's go ahead and get in closer to home. We'll take a quick look at the temperatures around the area. And then we'll take a look at what to expect in terms of timing for the rain and all that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the temperatures real quick and get those turned on for you. We'll allow those to load up real quickly here. And you can see temperatures in the 30s and 40s around the area, 37 degrees up in Boone, 43 degrees at the Mid-Carolina Airport in Salisbury. It is 46 degrees here at the Weather Center. And you can see temperatures mainly in the 40s. Uh, for the most part, there are some 50s out there, 50 up in Winston-Salem, 50 out toward Raleigh as well, and then 55 up toward uh, the uh, northern part of the state uh, right there in Mount Airy, a little pocket of warm air up there this morning. We'll warm up to uh, around the mid-60s today, and as a matter of fact, we're going to stay in the 60s as we go through the next seven to 10 days, not, uh, not too much in terms of warm weather coming in for us. Uh, through the, at least the, uh, the mid-range forecast. Now let's take a look at what the Storms Prediction Center is predicting for us today. You can see we've got, uh, we're in that light green area, which means a general thunderstorm risk. The darker green, the marginal risk is just off to our east and south. And then the uh, slight risk for severe weather is off toward the coast. And I think that's a pretty good bullseye this morning. Uh, in terms of what the Storm Prediction Center is calling out, those folks are going to see more sunshine than we will as uh, they go through the morning hours. And that'll certainly intensify any showers and storms that they get there. It uh, could give them a decent shot at severe weather. Let's go ahead and turn the model data on real quick now. And we're going to look at uh, starting at 12 noon today. And you can see some light rain starting to move into the county. More, more widespread, moderate to heavy rainfall off to our uh, west and southwest. And we'll go hour by hour now. This is 1 p.m. Starting to see some uh, moderate to heavy rainfall on the western side of the county. 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m. And there you see more heavier rainfall moving in as we start to head through the late afternoon, early evening hours. This is 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m. This is Rowan County right here. We'll get in just a little bit closer to get Salisbury to pop up there. 8 p.m., 9 p.m., you see some really heavy rainfall start to move in by this evening. 10 p.m., uh, we get to 11, and then midnight, you see us start to clear out. Looking at anywhere from a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of rainfall. Could get more than that if you get uh, some of this heavier rainfall to linger around for a while. So we'll continue to keep you updated on that. Let's go ahead and take a quick break. We'll get a word from our friends at Patterson Farm. We'll come back and give you the five-day forecast and more right after this. Hi, it's Michelle Patterson here at Patterson Farm Market and Tours, and we're so excited to reveal our 2021 Corn Maze design, which is Visit North Carolina Farm. We hope you and your family will visit us here at Patterson Farm Market and Tours this fall. For more information about our fall events, please check out our website at visitpattersonfarm.com. And we hope to see you here at the farm. Weather Impacts for Today, sponsored by Patterson Farm. The fall fun on the farm going on right now. For more details, visit pattersonfarm.com. All kinds of activities going on out there. The pumpkin patch still open. Still time to go out there and purchase a pumpkin to bring home and carve as a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween or use it as a fall decoration. The corn maze also going on out there. You saw the details for that during the commercial break. And then, of course, the market is always open out there during business hours where you can stop in, 
purchase some fresh from the farm produce or other seasonal goodies to bring home and enjoy as well. And all the details are at visitpattersonfarm.com for the fall fun on the farm. The weather impacts today, we'll see mostly cloudy skies this morning. The clouds will increase as we go through the morning hours. Light rain moves in by around midday. Rain becomes more widespread and heavier by around 3 p.m. Winds will be out of the east-southeast at around five to 10 miles an hour with gusts as high as 20 miles an hour. And we can see rainfall accumulations of a quarter to a half, or excuse me, of a half an inch to three quarters of an inch possible. Uh, that uh, got that typed up wrong here, and I apologize for that, but it's a half an inch to three quarters of an inch possible for rainfall accumulation by midnight tonight. The pollen outlook has low levels of pollen for the most part with some medium levels on Sunday. Pollen outlook sponsored by Good Nights Lawn Care. These guys take care of my lawn and I love it. They offer services like mowing, trimming, seeding, mulch, pine straw, and more. For more details on services provided, give them a call 980-521-1937. Main pollen drivers are sagebrush and ragweed. The mowing forecast, you've got time to get out there and get it done this morning. And then as we head into the afternoon hours, rain chances really start to pick up. There'll be some lingering rain on Friday morning as rain will wrap around the low and uh, just kind of pivot back around uh, our area as we go through the morning hours. We'll dry back out as we head to the afternoon and evening hours with some mostly cloudy skies. And then uh, your best bet for a completely dry day is likely going to be Saturday. I do have a 20% chance of rain in the forecast, but uh, I wouldn't cancel any outdoor plans, especially if you're planning on doing some yard work or something like that. The mosquito forecast has low levels of activity as we move through the weekend. These cooler temperatures are going to keep those guys really limited as we go through the weekend into early next week. And then the five-day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling. Built on integrity, give them a call, 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mention you notice they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first-time service call. We'll see mostly cloudy skies this morning, high of 65 degrees, 100% chance of showers and maybe a thunderstorm this afternoon and evening with a low of 55 on Friday. We'll see 40% chance of rain during the morning hours, high of 64, mostly cloudy skies as we head through the evening hours with a low of 48. On Saturday, mostly cloudy skies during the morning, high of 61. Partly cloudy skies by Saturday evening, low of 46. I do have a 20% chance of an isolated shower in there Saturday as the low continues to move away from us. Could see some wraparound moisture that could come through, but I wouldn't cancel any outdoor plans you have for Saturday at this point. On Sunday, we'll see sunny skies, high of 67. Mostly clear skies Sunday evening, low of 43. And then for Monday, sunny skies, high of 66, with mostly clear skies Monday evening and a low of 44. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather at any time, you can visit our website, www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. It's available on Hotwire channel 394, Spectrum channel 16. We'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Thursday. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County weather.